Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. My name is Cal. I am one of the mortgage loan advisors at Ideal Credit Union. Today we're going to go over the cost of buying a home. So we'll just jump right into it. So what's required? Uh, first thing, first and foremost, you're looking at down payment, right? Um, with most of our, our loan programs, you're looking at anywhere between three to five percent for a down payment. Um, there are other options that you know are available for less down payment. Um, for example, if you're a veteran, the VA loans require zero percent down. Um, part of the cost is closing costs, and just breaking it down, we get a high level. We've got the lender fees, uh, which is the lender's origination fee, the cost to pull credit, and the cost to perform an appraisal. Um, another part of close a uh, cost is your title company fees, which handles the closing. For your loan but they also do a title search and make sure that the home is free and clear uh, when they put it into your name and then we've got the government recording fees and the taxes that you pay when you uh, register your mortgage with the county that you're buying in uh, prepaid items um, for the escrow establish establishment uh, that is part of it as well so like your homeowner's insurance that's something you'll shop for uh, that covers you like the inside and the outside in case of fires or natural disasters um, this interest that's due to the lender at closing so for example right so if you're buying a house and you're closing on the 20th you're only living there on the 20th to the end of the month which is 11 days so that's the 11 days of daily interest that we'd collect from you um, and charge as part of the cost. And then of course the deposit into your escrow account. So we always cushion your escrow two months for both taxes and insurance. Um, other miscellaneous fees that might apply, you're looking at, it's like you're buying a townhouse or a condo, you're looking at an association setup fee or like the association dues. Um, I've seen any, those ranging anywhere between three to five hundred dollars. Um, if you're buying a new like a new house or it's new construction costs additional fees might apply um, and then the last item is realtor admin fee which is something that your your agent that their broker charges which unfortunately gets passed on to you um, and breaking it down again very high level here so if you're buying a 250,000 single family home uh, assuming the taxes are 4,000 a year and the insurance is $1,500 a year your down payment is 5% um, so it's $12,500. The closing cost will be about $6,000 because that's, yeah, that, that's gonna be right around for that loan amount. Um, the prepaid items in escrow will come up to be about $2,800. So your total cash at closing, you're probably gonna need about $21,300. Um, acceptable sources of where the funds can come from. The most common is your checking, savings, or investment accounts. Um, those are liquid, so you can kind of pull funds from them when you need to without any really big fees or penalties. Um, we do offer a cash rewards program called Home Advantage. So you use one of our agents, um, they give you, you know, a, a credit, and then you can apply that towards your closing costs. Um, on seller contributions, so if you're making an offer on a house, you can request that the seller contribute some funds to your closing costs as well. Gifts from family members are acceptable sources. Um, loans from 401ks, that's becoming pretty common or typical just because usually the interest that you're paying back on that 401k is being applied right back to yourself anyways. Secured loans, looking at cars, you know, if you have RVs that are paid in full, you can take the equity out from those and then use those funds as part of the down payment. Roth IRAs are acceptable. You can pull, you can pull funds from those. And then of course, down payment assistance programs, which we will cover in the next slide. So down payment assistance, you're typically uh, looking at this for first time home buyers. Most down payment assistance programs require you to be, uh, you know, it's got income limitations. So there's certain, there's a dollar amount that you can't, you can't make more than a certain dollar amount a year in order to qualify for the assistance. Options here at the credit union, um, we have a home start program that's usually our most popular. It uh, again has income limitations, but it is a grant up to $7,500. It's a for forgivable loan. So you live in the house for five years, you don't have to pay any of it back. If you end up refinancing or selling the house within the five years, you do have to pay it back and it is prorated based on the number of years you have lived there. 
Woodbury funds. So if you're buying in the city of Woodbury, you can uh, get a, this is a second mortgage, um, but it, they lend up up to $25,000 and it is an interest only payment. But this helps if you've got money for the down payment, but you don't want to pay the mortgage insurance. You know, this is this might be a, a good option to, again, take out the loan and not pay them the insurance at back. Um, and then of course, we've got Ramsey County funds. So if you're buying in this, the suburbs of St. Paul, they give you a grant up to $10,000 as well. Other low down payment options we have, we have what's called a zero down payment option. Most mortgages are 30 years. Um, the zero down is actually a 20 year term. So you're building equity a lot faster on it. Um, it's got a really good interest rate as well. Um, and again, it's really good for our members who, who want to, you know, obviously pay off their mortgage a lot faster or if they don't have a lot of money down, this is a great option. Um, the, other, the other low down payment option is the Community Heroes Program. And this is a community-based employment requirement. So you have to be like a part of law enforcement or a firefighter. Um, if you're a public teacher, public school teacher or a nurse, um, you can look at qualifying because this allows you to put 1% down, which is a huge difference from again, 5%. So a same thing here, if you've got really competitive interest rates for the Community Heroes program as well. Um, but that uh, is that concludes our, our presentation. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or shoot us, shoot us an email. Um, again, thank you for your time today and everyone have a great day. Thank you.